Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass in half the time. So let's have a quick look at a very basic overview of air density. So it doesn't matter whether this is a square millimetre, a square centimetre, a square metre, a square foot, a square inch, a square mile. Let's just use the concept. So when the air is dense, i.e. the air is cold and or under low pressure, then the particles are going to be small. When the air is less dense, then the particles are going to be big. When the particles are big, you'll fit less air in a given volume. And when the particles are very dense and small, you'll fit more air in a given volume. Now that's important for two reasons. One, because we're trying to pack air into the engine to get performance. And two, because we're trying to push the wings through air to generate lift. So when we can push it past more particles like this, or get more air in our engine like this, we're going to get better performance. Whereas when the particles are big on hot days, or under low pressure, or, or at high altitudes, then we're going to get far less performance. So let's take a look at it now as it passes across an aircraft. So here's your aircraft here, and this density over here represents a high density day, okay? In other words, it's cold temperatures, you're at low elevations, and it's, and it's high pressure. So there's lots and lots of um, particles per square centimetre like this, or per square inch, or mile, or metre, or whatever. And there's way more air passing over the wings, and also there's way more air being packed into the engines at any given point in time. So there's lots of lift available, and the engines can produce more power. Whereas over here, this is like at a high elevation or altitude, or a high temperature, so the air particles have got bigger, or at a low pressure, so the air particles are bigger. And there's less of them to pass over the wings. There's less of them going to fit in the engine at any given point in time because the air particles are actually bigger. So that's a basically air density in a nutshell. Now you use your calculations to work out whether it's like this or whether it's like this or how far in between. And the reason is we want to calculate our takeoff performance to make sure that we can clear our takeoff and climb performance to make sure that we can clear uh, obstacles, towers, trees, things at the end of the runway, and also to make sure that we can climb out of valleys, to make sure that we can carry the load that we're putting in our aircraft at any given point in time and get off the ground safely. Now, there's a couple of things that affect it um, dramatically. So the first one is the one that affects it the absolute most is temperature. Okay, temperature makes more difference than anything else. If it's cold, it's going to be more dense. If it's hot, it's going to be less dense and less performance. Okay, if the uh, the atmospheric pressure is low, it's going to be like this, and your performance is going to be poor. If the atmospheric pressure is high, like down near the surface, on a, especially on a high pressure day, then it's going to be like this. And as we go up in altitude or elevation, it becomes more like this. Down near sea level, it's more like this because it's got the weight of all the other air sitting on top of it. So that's air density in a nutshell. I hope that's helped. Matt from pilotpracticeexams.com where you can pass in half your time. If you like this, please give us a like, a share, or give us a comment and let us know that you like it.